There's something that has been bothering me since the first Kingdom Hearts 4 trailer, aside from the fact that we've gotten no news since then. But it's something to do with this mysterious girl that made an appearance. Well, she's not a mystery to everyone. For those who experience the stories in the mobile games, her name is Strelitzia, and spoiler warning, she's supposed to be dead. Don't worry, you find this out literally 10 minutes after she's introduced. That mother back there is not real! Trilizia died during the events of Kingdom Hearts Kingdom Cross. However, Quadratum for the Kingdom Hearts characters is a world similar to an afterlife for them, so that by itself would make this a perfect place for Trilizia's reappearance, except what happened in the finale to Union Cross has me raising an eyebrow at this. During the chaos that was unfolding in the final sequence of Daybreak Town, we hear that Shalitzia was spotted just straight up walking through the town with a person in a black coat, assumingly the master who had also made an appearance in the KH4 trailer. During Union Cross, they speculate at the idea of everyone who's in the Data Daybreak Town having copies made of them. So theoretically, there could be a Data copy of Shalitzia walking around that could be used to bring her back to life. The idea doesn't have much of an effect on Union Cross's finale, but was definitely thrown out there for a future note by Brain, meaning this could play a major role in Kingdom Hearts 4 and is a perfect way to bridge characters from the Key Saga to modern times. A theory that I've often speculated that we're going to be getting a real Keyblade War in the future, aka one not with just, you know, a few dozen people, but rather one with hundreds, thousands of different Keyblade Warders, all that we maybe recognize from Key or from past games all just in one huge finale right quick though if you enjoy crazy kingdom hearts theories and speculation or just kingdom hearts in general really hit that subscribe button down below but anyways sora didn't go to the afterlife or a quadratum under normal circumstances he abused the rules of the power of waking throughout the events of remind and disappeared from his reality compared to shalitzia literally being murdered right in front of us we saw the heart flow up and everything yet we see both both Sora and Shalitzia here. Now the idea that every dead Kingdom Hearts character can end up here is a bizarre thing to talk about. It brings up the idea that Xehanort could be here, Ericus, Keyblade Wooders, and Dark Road, etc. I think this would open up a big can of worms in terms of theorizing, so let's just stick to the known aspects and Shalitzia being here for now. We know she's supposed to be dead and that in Union Cross, there's a potential copy or let's say clone of her walking around with the Master. The Master is also here in Kingdom Hearts 4 in Quadratum, kind of watching Sora from the looks of it. So could the Master have planted Shalitzia here to guide Sora purposely? This must be for some alternative intent that wouldn't be good news for a Keyblade hero. If this Shalitzia is the same one we saw in the white coat walking around with the Master, could this mean that whatever this version Version of Shalitzia is doing be in alliance with the master and his overall plan. Shalitzia was never the outgoing type in Kingdom Hearts Union Cross. She was extremely shy and barely worked up the courage to talk to the player in Union Cross only after finding out the world would perish in the Keyblade War and essentially didn't want the player to go along with it, only for her to in the end. So off rip, although we know this is a trailer, we know this is taking place early in the game and Shalitzia is not not the type of person I feel who'd greet herself and walk herself into some other person's apartment, unless her and Sora have some connection deeper than we've already been made established to. So that information leads me to believe this Shalitzia is not the same Shalitzia who is Lauren Shiloh's sister, rather a copy with Shalitzia's memories being used by the master. But to make a couple of other points, we don't know how Quadratum time works, so we don't know how long she's been here necessarily, though it doesn't look like she's aged much. Also, on top of that, this could be a situation similar to Xion in Kingdom Hearts 3, where the vessel is being used for a specific purpose, but the memories the vessel holds eventually, you know, break themselves out. Now, what does this mean for Lorium and his search for Shalitzia? If one copy can be made, then likely another can as well. If this is the case, then Lorium's search for Shalitzia in the next saga could turn out to be very interesting. Now, it's very possible that the opposite is actually the case, where Sora is with the real Shalitzia in Quadratum and returns her to Lorium when he gets back to the real world, and Lorium ends up chasing after a fake Shalitzia who's been implanted by the Master in the Realm of Light. I don't know if the Master is that demented though, though to be fair, we did see him walking around with a character who's supposed to be, well, completely dead at the ending of Union Cross, so I don't know what the Master would or would not do. We saw Shalitzia in this same white 
coat in a vision that Lorium had after losing to Maleficent in Kingdom Hearts Union Cross. This was kind of Union Cross's way of letting the brother find out that his sister was no longer a part of this world, only for Lorium to get a little bit of hope later on through that reveal that Shalitzia is walking throughout Daybreak Town. We don't completely know the circumstances surrounding Shalitzia if she really is a data version of herself now, or if somehow she did survive that attack by darkness. There's a lot of weird stuff going on. Shalitzia's role in the next saga is definitely a surprising one to say the least. I mean, I figured she'd have a role, but this soon in Kingdom Hearts 4 nonetheless, and in the first trailer for the game too, I think says a lot about how pivotal she might be to this next game story. I'm excited to see more of her character and to see Sora learn about her and hopefully figuring out a way to reunite her with her brother again, even if it's just for a moment and she can't stay with him for long. Even though I'm worried about this aspect for newer Kingdom Hearts fans, I'm really excited about the key story finally bridging its way into the modern lore for Kingdom Hearts, into Kingdom Hearts 4, into the mainline games. It's extremely exciting to see characters like Shalitzia possibly have an important role in the future seeing cutscenes like the epilogue that we know are going to have a big deal going forward the key story was full of mystery and i was just so immersed the characters the narrative it was all just so good i would debatably say some of the best story i have ever seen in kingdom hearts as i've said multiple times it's really that good they're bringing that quality of storytelling into kingdom hearts 4 into the lost master saga I am excited. That's kind of all I have to say though, just something weird I thought about when I saw Shalitzia in the Kingdom Hearts 4 trailer, like, hey, is this person real? Is this actually Shalitzia? I mean, we did see her like dead and walking with the master who's also in KH4, so there's a lot more to Shalitzia here than just her being a friendly guide for Sora. Why is she a guide? But anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. What are some of your Shalitzia theories or KH4 theories? I want to hear all of it. If you enjoyed today's video though, you already know what to do. Leave a like, share it with a friend or fellow member, and last but not least, if you have not already and want to become a part of the union, all you have to do is hit the subscribe button down below. My name is Prodigy, and I will talk to you guys soon. Peace out, you guys. Bye. Seven black pieces, and? Just watch. Now she's a daydreamer She's always thinking